So hello everyone, my name is Tejas and welcome to my channel Self Study with Tejas. Today we are going to learn NSO Class 6, Chapter 2, Sorting Materials into Groups. So let's start. To sorting materials into groups. So first question, Smriti took 4 beakers containing equal amount of water. She wanted to check the solubility of some solids like sugar, salt, chalk powder and sawdust. She added the solids to each beaker, stirred the contents with a stirrer and waited for some time. What did she observe? So, here uh, sugar will be soluble in water and salt is also soluble in water. And chalk dust is not soluble in water and sawdust is also not soluble in water. So now let us take the options. So sugar and chalk powder are soluble in water. So this is incorrect because sugar and salt are soluble in water. Now B. Sugar, salt and chalk powder are soluble in water. So this is also incorrect. Now C. Sugar, salt, chalk powder and sawdust are soluble in water. So this is also incorrect. Now D option. Sugar and salt are soluble in water and water, white chalk powder and sawdust are insoluble. So this is incorrect. So correct answer is D. So second question, a few characteristics are shown as. So first, good conductor. Second, transparent. Third, lustrous. Fourth, solid. Fifth, opaque. And sixth, insulators. So the characteristic generally shown by metals are. So metals are Good conductors of electricity, they are lustrous, they are solid and they are opaque. Means 1, 3, 4 and 5. So our correct answer is B, 1, 3, 4 and 5 only. Now third question, substance P has a rough structure, Q is non-lustrous while R floats on water. P, Q and R could be respectively. So A, copper vessel. So, copper vessel doesn't have a rough texture means this is incorrect. Now, B, sandpaper. So, uh, uh, substance B can be sandpaper because it has rough texture. Now, wooden bowl. So, wooden bowl is also non-lustrous. And now, and rubber band. So, R floats on water and rubber band can also float on water means B option is correct. But we are having here both B and C also. So now we need to check is C is correct or not. So pumice stone. Yes, a pumice stone has also a rough texture. Jute bag is also non-lustrous. And wooden bowl can also float in water. Means our correct answer is D, both B and C. Now fourth question. Three groups of materials are given below. First, salt, sugar, flour. Second, copper, gold, silver. Third, petrol, kerosene, paper. Identify the property common to each group. So here we can see that in group 1, salt, sugar and flour, uh, the, uh, both are edible. And now in group 2, copper, gold, silver, they are metals. And in third group, petrol, kerosene and paper, they are inflammable. Means our correct answer is C. Edible, metals and inflammable. So fifth question. Uh, Sunita classified different materials based on their properties. Which of the following sets are correctly matched? So uh, first set uh, hard sponge. So this is incorrect because sponge is not hard. And steel, iron, nail and brick is hard. Now opaque. So wooden board is opaque. Glass is not opaque. And thermocol is opaque. Means our correct option can be from 2 or Four. And now floats on water. So yes, ice can float on water. And hair can also float on water. Now insoluble in water. So yes, mustard oil is insoluble in water. And glass powder is also insoluble in water. Means our correct answer is 2 and 4 only. Question. Study the given table showing some daily used items which can be made from more than one material. So cooking pot from wood. So this is incorrect because cooking pot is not made from Wood means first is incorrect. Now second storage container. Yes it can be made from wood. It can be made from plastic. It can be made from metal or glass anything. And now third LPG cylinder. So LPG cylinder cannot be made from wood. And here it is stick. Means it is also incorrect. Now fourth 
टीका सो इट कैन नॉट बी मेड फ्रॉम वुड इट कैन बी मेड फ्रॉम प्लास्टिक इट कैन इट कैन नॉट बी मेड फ्रॉम मेटल एंड इट कैन बी मेड फ्रॉम ग्लास मीन्स फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन सो फर्स्ट थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन आर इन करेक्ट मीन्स और करेक्ट आंसर इज बी तो सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन अ साइंस टीचर लेवल थ्री ग्लास स्लाइड एस पी क्यू एंड आर शी पेंटेड स्लाइड क्यू विथ लाइट ब्लू कलर स्लाइड आर विथ ब्लैक कलर एंड स्लाइड पी वॉज लेफ्ट एज सच देन शी आर स्टूडेंट टू पुट दी स्लाइड ऑन अ व्हाइट पेपर हैविंग एक्स मार्क ऑन it students will be able to see the mark partially so a in slide p as it is translucent so slide p was left as such means it was transparent but in the option it is written translucent means it is incorrect now b in slide q as it is translucent so this is correct because slide q was painted in light blue color uh, which is translucent so correct answer is option number b so eighth question which of the following statements are incorrect so first milk is miscible with water so this is correct and now second question uh, second air is translucent so this is incorrect because air is transparent now third plastic mug floats on water so this is also correct and now fourth mercury is a bad conductor of heat so this is incorrect means the incorrect options are 2 and Four means our correct answer is option number C. So ninth question: Read the given statements and select the correct option. So statement one: Handles of cooking utensils are made up of metals like copper, aluminium, etc. So this is incorrect. Now statement two: Metals are poor conductors of heat. So this is also incorrect because metals are rich conductors of heat. Means both options are incorrect. So means. Uh, our correct answer is D. Both statements one and two are false. So tenth question: Select the correct statement from the following. So first, honey is not a viscous liquid and plastic sheet is a lustrous material. So yes, plastic sheet is a lustrous material, but honey is a viscous liquid. And here it is written, it is not a uh, viscous liquid. Means first is false. Now second. cotton and sponge are hard materials so this is incorrect because cotton and sponge are soft materials so third the position of molecules in a solid is fixed while in the gases the molecules are far apart from each other means this is correct now fourth the light can pass partially through an oil paper and frosted glass so this is also correct means the correct statements are 3 and 4 only so the correct answer will be c So eleventh question, Ratika, a science teacher performed the following experiment to de determine the heat conductivity of two different materials X and Y. So X cannot be held after some time, means it is a good conductor of electricity, and Y can be a uh, hold for longer time, means it is a bad conductor of electricity. Now on the basis of the above experiment, select the correct statement from the following. So A. X can be a plastic rod and Y can be a copper rod. So this is uh, incorrect because plastic rod is a bad conductor of electricity. Now B, X can be silver rod and Y can be a glass rod. So this is correct because a silver rod is a good conductor of electricity and glass rod is a bad conductor of electricity. So the correct answer is B. So twelfth question: Select the option in which the odd one out is encircled correctly. So A, iron. Plastic, wood, and glass, and the circled one is plastic. So this is incorrect because iron is a magnetic material, while others are non-magnetic material. Now second, stone, paper, honey, water. So here paper is combustible, while others are incombustible. Means B is the correct answer, but still we will read all of the options. So now clear glass, butter paper, air, window panes. so this is also incorrect because butter paper is translucent while others are transparent now the iron nail coin wooden block gold earring so this is also incorrect because wooden block only floats on water while others sink in water means our correct answer is option number b next question shubham a class 6 student took some substances and struck each with a hammer he noted down his observations in the given table Based on the above table, select the option which correctly identifies the substances P, Q, R, and S. 
so substance stone on hammering dash so on hammering stone breaks into pieces means our correct answer is c but still we will read all of the options so now here a glass breaks into pieces conclusion dash so when glass breaks into pieces it be it becomes brittle and now third aluminium container on hammering dash so on uh, hammering it gets flattened and now fourth sponge on hammering no change conclusion so uh, on hammering there is no change means it will be soft only so correct answer is option number c so 14th question match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the given codes so column 1 to column 2 first first one floats on water so plastic ball floats on water and now q transparent so transparent is clear water and now magnetic so iron rod is magnetic and inflammable is petrol means uh, so we have got a p p3 so here it is p3 now q q1 so here it's q1 now r4 r4 is there and s2 so s2 is there means our correct answer is option number a so 15th question a few common substances are listed in the box so now which of the following statement is slash r incorrect regarding these substances so first uh, one which is honey honey is soluble while three which is vinegar is insoluble in water so this is incorrect because vinegar is also soluble in water so now second one fourth which is silver coin will sink while five feathers will float on water so this is correct and now third one two which is gold is transparent so this is incorrect because gold is opaque so this is incorrect and now fourth uh, gold and fifth which is feather are hard so this is incorrect because feather is not hard means our incorrect statements are 1 3 and 4 so our correct answer is option number c section question number 16 a brief information about three substances is given as so x transparent smooth to touch and an insulator so it could be glass means our correct answer is option number b but still we will read all of the options so why yellow in color good conductor of heat and electricity and lustrous so it could be uh, it could be gold and now z man made material and insulator used to make switches and handles of cooking utensils so it could be plastic means our correct answer is option number b now 17th question the properties of four different materials 1 2 3 and 4 are listed in the given way fill in the blanks with an appropriate option first one dash immiscible with water means it could be oil or petrol means our correct option is from b or c now second dash hard and lustrous means it is metal spoon so our correct answer is option number c but still we will read all of these so dash opaque so cardboard is opaque and now fourth dash floats initially then sinks so cotton ball floats initially then sinks means our correct answer is option number c this question study the given classification chart carefully and select the correct statement regarding the properties p q r w x and y so here in p there are copper vessel and wooden block which are uh, opaque and in q there are a uh, clear glass and water which are transparent now p is divided into r and w in r it is copper vessel which is a good conductor of heat and in w there it uh, there is wooden block which is a bad conductor of heat now in q it is divided into again two parts x and y so x is clear glass which is solid and y is water which is a liquid so now we have to select the correct option so first p refers to transparent while q refers to opaque so this is incorrect because p uh, p refers to opaque and q refers to transparent so now second one p refers to opaque while q refers to transparent so this is correct statement now third r refers to good conductor of heat and y refers to liquid so r is copper vessel which is a good conductor of heat 
and why is water which is a liquid means this is also a correct op option so here fourth one w refers to non magnetic while x refers to magnetic so this is incorrect means our correct answer is a 2 and 3 only 19th question select the option which correctly identifies substances k l m and n respectively so uh, substance k it is hard it does not sink in water and it is non magnetic so means it would be a wooden block means our correct answer is option d but still we will read all of the so now a uh, 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 substance l it is hard it sinks in water and it is magnetic means it could be a iron nail and now m it 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 is not hard it does not sink in water and it is not magnetic means it is a sponge and now a uh, substance and it is hard it sinks in water but it is not magnetic means it is a glass rod so the correct answer is option number d so 20th question study the given flow chart and identify p q r and s so here substance liquid yes edible yes p means p could be honey so the correct answer is option a but still we will read all now a liquid a liquid yes edible no it is s so it could be petrol so here s is at the last so we need to take uh, it is to to the last so here it is petrol and now liquid no malleable yes so malleable is a metal and it is yes it is metal so it could be a aluminium container and mm, soft uh, so it is malleable no soft yes means it could be a cotton ball means our correct answer is option a So if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you